This question is basically in a combination of the local attraction and the declination. If you see the past few trends, you will find like there is a trend in gate examination. They give the question combining two different concepts together. Like you will see the local attraction as well as the declination problem together. So whenever you get a question in which local attraction and declination appears together, then I am suggesting all of you like you first always solve for the local attraction. And whenever you get the corrected bearing from the local attraction, then apply the declination and find the true bearing. All right. So here in this question, if you read the magnetic declination in the area is given as two degree east. Of course, we can apply the correction directly. All right. But if you read the question, they have mentioned, they have not mentioned local attraction anywhere. But if you read the question, you will get to know. For example, here they have mentioned for an open traverse, the following bearings are taken as below. And if you look at this particular table here, the line PQ, the four bearing and back bearing, if you see, you can see the four bearing and back bearing, they're not making 180 difference at all. Similarly, the, the another line QR, if you see the four bearing back bearing again, they're not making the difference of 180 degree. So ultimately, in that case, we have some local attraction. In this type of the question, if they ask you to calculate any angle, my dear, then you don't need to solve for local attraction because you know the angles will never be affected by the local attraction. All right. So they are not asking any angle. They are basically asking the bearing if you read the question properly. If station R, which is the last one, PQR is the open traverse we have. So the question is saying if the station R is free from local attraction, then calculate the true bearing of four be true four bearing of line PQ. So my dear student, so basically they are asking the true bearing for this particular data, true bearing they are asking. If you concentrate over this particular data, of course it has so many, like there are two different types of the error, the error to local attraction and error of declination also. So in that case, you will have to solve for both the things. So I told you that whenever we have both the things appear together, then always we will have to solve the local attraction first and then declination. Let's start. So guys, what we can do first, I will make the table in WCB. One point you should always consider like whenever the question appears uh, with the local attraction and declination, then first you will have to uh, solve for the local uh, attraction and then declination. This is the sequence I told you. All right. So now in this case, what exactly you can do? First of all, I will make one table and I will write here it is line PQ and QR. And we can write the four bearing and the back bearing. So let's make one table of WCV. I'm going to mention the WCV value here. So if it is northeastern, I can write it is simply 30 degree northeastern northeastern it is 30 degree the so wcv value is also 30 degree but southwestern if you look at this particular can be right it is south it is west and this is 29 if it is 29 then what is this data ultimately you're getting can be right it is 180 and plus 29 180 degree plus 29 we are getting 209 degree 209 degree another data south 71 east it is south 71 east you see so this data in wcv we are getting 180 degree minus 71 degree and this is 109 degree we can write it is 109 degree and another one is north western north western 69 degree if you see then this value is coming as 360 degree minus of 69 degree we are getting 291 degree my dear student here you can see it is 291 degree one just outcome you can uh, keep in mind like this will always be very uh, easy and uh, uh, correct approach for solving the question if you convert all the bearings always in wcb see there are two different types of the system which you know it is wcb and qsb you may solve the question in qsb directly but always be careful if you are solving the question directly in QSB because QSB is something in which the chances of making mistakes will be more. And that is why in order to avoid the mistake, if you convert into WCV and then you solve the problem, this will be easy for you all or another option directly you can solve in w QSB as well. 
but always make sure that you are solving the question very carefully otherwise there is a chance of making mistake if you're solving in qsb right so here in this particular question you can see i have converted all the data in wcb all right so let me just check again it is a southwestern it is 29 plus 180 another one is southeastern it is 180 minus 71 and this is northwestern this is 360 minus uh, 69 this is 291 now dear you can see this i have made already now in this case what exactly we can do if we have this table known to us first step i told you we will make the diagram as it is data given in the question so dear just look at this this is the station we have which is station p at p station p to q the 30 degree bearing is taken which is this i will mention it is 30 degree bearing another one you can see this station is q and at q station you can see uh, this bearing is basically 209 degree and another one q to r is 109 you can see this is 109 degree and then we have this bearing as 291 degree this is pq and this is r station my dear student we have station p station q and station r all four bearings which give which are given in the question i have plotted now ultimately there is no any reference you know that whenever you solve the problem you always check the four bearing back bearing difference and you conclude as like whenever for any line the four bearing back bearing difference comes as 180 degree you conclude there is no any local attraction at all right but in this open traverse here there is no any line creating 180 difference so in that case they have already given the hint in the question that one station is free from local attraction now i want all of you to read the question properly question says if the station r is free from local attraction then calculate the true bearing of four bearing of line pq so first of all my dear if you see this station r has no local attraction so we are going to now convert here here there is no local attraction no local attraction what we can do now whenever we don't have any local attraction at any station that means what all the bearings taken from that particular station will always be correct that means what if it is 291 then 291 has no error at all so if it is true value then what should be if, if it is true back bearing then what should be the true forebearing can we calculate the measured here i will show you the calculation dear and this will actually clear your idea it is the measured value is this one what is the true value of the back bearing so it is very simple like at one station if the back bearing value is corrected then corresponding four bearing on the basis of the corrected one we can calculate the other corrected value for example for line qr we have the back bearing corrected known to us as 291 so we can calculate what is the corrected four bearing for line qr can be right it is simply 291 degree minus 180 degree and this is equal to 291 minus 181 it is triple one degree so on the basis of that what we can write correction value my dear student always keep one point in mind like local attraction is an error and we are finding directly what is the correction for the local attraction not the error my dear it is basically by definition local attraction is an error and we are not calculating error we are calculating correction for the local attraction so you can see from station r to q this is 291 which is already known to us it is corrected one so on the basis of the corrected back bearing the corrected four bearing we are finding 291 minus 180 and that we are getting 111 degree so the measured value is 109 and the true value is that you know that correction is basically the true value minus measured value and this value is equal to it is triple one minus 109 degree are you getting it is basically two degree correction you're getting now as per the property of the uh, like as per the concept and the observations of the local attraction my dear you know that when any station is affected by local attraction then all the bearings taken from that station will be affected by same value of the local attraction so for example if you look at this particular station q the four bearing has a correction 
2 degree, we can apply the same correction to the back bearing as well. Alright, so back bearing will have same value of correction here. So, this value we are writing here. See, this is the measured one we have. It is the measured value of the back bearing. This particular value we are writing. It is the measured value. So, what is the true value? Can be right. It is 209 degree plus plus the correction is what? Correction is 2 degree and that correction we can write 211 degree is the corrected bearing dear. It is corrected. So are you able to see using the corrected back bearing we found corrected four, be uh, four corrected four bearing and if we have corrected four bearing and measured four bearing both known to us using that we have calculated how much is the correction required to the station Q. And that correction we found as the true value minus measured value as 2 degree. The same correction we are applying at the back bearing of line PQ because ultimately the back bearing of line PQ is taken from station Q. And you know that any station when it is affected by local attraction then the fore bearing and back bearing will have the same value of error. As a conclusion of that we can write the correction to both the bearings will also be same. So here, whatever is the correction in the four bearing of line QR, the same correction you will get for the back bearing of line PQ. And that we have applied. The measured one is 209 degree and the correction of 2 degrees applied, we are getting 211 degree. So now my dear, ultimately, if I ask you, when we have this value known to us, 211 can be right here, what is the value of the corrected four bearing of line PQ? So, you can write here, corrected four bearing of line PQ. How much is the corrected four bearing of line PQ? Can we write this as on the basis of the corrected back bearing, we can find the corrected four bearing 211 degree minus 180 degree. What is the answer coming? 211 minus 180 and that is 31 degree ultimately we are getting you can see it here although we can calculate they may ask you in the question sometimes like what is the uh, what is the uh, uh, local attraction at any station they may ask you what is the local attraction we can calculate like we know what is the corrected four bearing of line pq and uh, the measured correct measured uh, four bearing of line pq is 30 so we can calculate the local attraction as well my dear all right you can see so ultimately the corrected four bearing the question was asking you to calculate which we have found but one more part is left you know that till now we have solved only the local attraction the other part declination is still left and what you can do like here declination is there and i will show you if you see this here if the station r is free from local attraction then calculate the four bearing of line pq and for an open traverse everything we have found here the corrected four bearing of PQ also we have found they are asking magnetic declination in area is 2 degree east. So now I will write this is basically the magnetic bearing my dear. <coughs> magnetic bearing. So if you have magnetic bearing known to us we can write the true bearing is equal to true bearing is equal to you know that magnetic bearing plus eastern declination if the declination is western then we will have to subtract the data if it is eastern we will have to add the data if you look at the question clearly mentioned two degree east declination is there that means we will have to add two degree east so ultimately we can write it is 31 degree plus two degree it is 33 degree is the true bearing we can write the true four bearing of line PQ is basically 33 degree. True four bearing of line PQ is 33 degree. This is what we are getting. I hope you have understood this. All right. So guys, this question is actually giving you the hint that whenever we have local attraction and declination both appear together, then first you solve for the local attraction and then to the corrected value you can apply the declination and you can find the true bearing value. Alright, so you can see this is the final answer. So if you wish to write, you can write now.